Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 49. Sorry, I had to double check the rundown sheet. And we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. So, we uh, stormed the palace. We tried to destroy the mammoth machine, failed miserably. Chrono died, started checking with the survivors, and then Dalton, who bravely ran away, has decided to sucker punch us, capture us, and we're on the Blackbird. We spent the whole of the last episode running around that ship, beating up some fools and getting our equipment back. And uh, now we've got some scores to settle. So, game has been saved. Let us make the mad dash past all the security things. And uh, let's get up. Do I want to go up that way? Oh, no. I don't want to go up that way. All right, come on. Let's, uh, oh, which is the door I'm looking for? This is the door I'm looking for. No, that is not the door I'm looking for. Wherefore art thou, oh, door I'm looking for? I passed it, didn't I? <laughs> It'd probably help. Oh, I thought I got past it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. Well, that's weird. Oh. Well, okay then. That was... That was something. There we go. I didn't want to take that damage before the final fight, but I'm not going to take the time to... Oh. Hello. Disables items and commands? Oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. He can disable items and commands. You rat. Miss, miss, miss. Look at my luck. Holding true. Oh, there we go. Alright, I got it. Uh, oh, that's why I did it, because the 1500 XP. That's always nice. Um, normally, I wouldn't take the time to grind with an episode to run, but um, these guys are too much to pass up. And, yeah, they're, they're a pain with that whole disabling items and tech. But uh, I can heal between battles if I really end up needing to. Um, I can also miss a lot, apparently, too. I, I didn't see that in the description, but it looks like they uh, disable your ability to hit. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Oh, you rat. You ran away and didn't even give me the XP. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disable all tech and items. blah de blah Oh. Oh, for serious. Come on, guys. That That's all. The XP. He's sitting right there. We quickly dispatched the last one. Oh. Don't know. Oh. By the way, I almost forgot. What, um... Okay, she's got... That's right, she's got the magic ring. Okay. Magic ring, the wedding ring, the suffering? Oh, wait, no. That's something different. And not that other magic ring. That had a couple of hobbits. They were headed over the other way. Oh, for serious... Are, are we going to sit here and have another wiffle ball fest? Okay, that's a little more like it. Because I want that XP. That's a lot of XP. I don't even care about the ether. Give me the XP. Show me the XP. Yada, yada, yada. <sighs> you useless frog. You keep missing like that, I'm going to start cooking up some freaking frog legs. I'll boil you in your own water magic. Alright. Come on. Guys, seriously. It's a turret. How do you miss it? 
That's better. Okay. I thought something special was going to happen there. Alright, that's the way back to where I was. Kind of glad that you can't get blown off. I was a little worried about that, not going to lie. Oh, there we go. That's where we needed to be. The one special spot. Something comes. What's going on? All right, this guy's got a big old whack of hit points, so... <laughs> Golem Overlord, take this. Yeah. All right, let's, um... Do that. Do that. Um... Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's try that. Because that, that, that didn't do too much. I think I got the wrong pair doing the dual techs. Yeah. Yeah, that ice too isn't, isn't quite cutting it. So, uh... Let me get... Let me get Frog and Ayla to do maybe Glacial Freeze? Yeah. And then she can do a Triple Kick. Yeah, I think this is going to be the better way to go. 4, 8, 12. <laughs> um, so triple kick. Glacial freeze. The kicker is, the whole point of doing this is to sop up all your uh, everything. All right, item, let's get her, uh, mid, yeah, let's go with the mid either, because she is looking a little sore for, uh, hit points. I think he's near the end, especially with that, um, no, I'm scared. Yeah, I need to stop. I hate heights. <laughs> Alright, I was really trying to avoid burning. Oh! He bravely ran away. Oh, man. He ran away. That means I'm out the 2,000 gold. And the XP. But mostly the 2,000 gold. Doggone it. Ha ha ha. I've done it. It's complete. Ooh, we got wings. See these beautiful wings? This is a throne truly fit for a king. The Ario Dalton Imperial 5000. No. <laughs> and these meddlesome interlopers shall be her first victims. Prepare for takeoff. No, 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 and no. Stop the music. Yes, there we go. Now then. Come on, Dalton. Get what, get what coming to you. Aereo Dalton Imperial, away! Yeah, knock out all your own people while you're at it too, huh? Look. Hmm. The epoch. It can fly. It can fly. It can fly. Her name is not the epoch. It's the Ariel Dalton Imperial. 
And you, I'm afraid, are excess baggage. Time to make like the wind and blow you all away. Hey, when did that thing get guns? I don't remember that being part of the standard equipment. Yes, yeah, squirm about like the worms you are. Or... Oh, she's really gonna blame me. Oh no, she's blaming him. Okay, good. <laughs> you! You made the jump like heroes! <gasps> Alright, uh, let's go triple kick. Glacial freeze. Oop. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to be on healing duty. Um, yeah, one good group heal ought to, ought to help things back up. Go Golem Overlord? No, Golem Overlord's gone, man. Oh, that was quicker than I expected. Okay. That filthy thief. Epoch okay? Epoch still fall. <laughs> Marley, is it not X? Nope, nope. <laughs> That's how you shoot stuff up. Funny how a straight laser does a diagonal cut. Ah, game physics. Don't question it. Well, what about A? Yeah. Clip those wings. Oh, sorry. Wrong blackbird. Hurrah! Justice! Dalton's been paid his due. Mercy, that ship can fly. Incredible. Mayhap we even owe him a touch of gratitude for this. Epoch happy. Epoch become bird. Like a bird of prey. No, Chrono. Seriously. The poor fool. Chrono strong. Chrono no die. Yeah, well, I don't know. I was looking pretty dead myself, but... Alright. Chrono's gotta be somewhere. I'll find him. Alright, first things first. Okay, now, I thought you were the uh, weapons merchant. You are the weapons merchant. Bye. Uh, yes, I think that's what I already picked. That's what I already got. 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 Um, hmm. Isn't that interesting? I could use a few more of those. Don't need those. All right. I might actually come back in a little bit. Come again. I will. Oh yeah, I'll be back there shopping in just a minute. Uh, I need to do first things first. I need to go... No, not party. I need to go inventory. Jolter everybody back up to full health. Go you know, party and get Luca in the party now. I can't remember if I want Frog in the party or if I want him to be conveniently unavailable for the next part. So, I'll go ahead and do my save. Uh, da -da -da -da. Because we're about to run into somebody. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. We're about to run into somebody, and I don't know how well that's going to go. I should probably go to the commons first. Watch, I'm probably going to find out that I could have just... Yeah, I could have... Oh, I shouldn't have burned the shelter. <laughs> I could have just rested for the night. Fine. I'll throw that money around. Such a mysterious little tree. Perhaps someday it will help us paint the land green again. By a descendant named Fiona? 
I glimpsed the figure of a man on the North Cape. I hope he was up to no ill. Ah, uh, it's good to see some smiles of hope. This despair is quite contagious, I fear. The sun ever rises on the morrow, yada yada yada, poetry. The sun temple of zeal. Yep, okay. Nothing new there. Another stranger washed ashore not long after the tide carried you here. He seemed to be searching for someone. No one had ever seen the person who came after you. Not even in the world above. Could he have been a friend of yours? Oh, who is this? Hooray, hooray! It warms my heart to see him so full of energy. The villagers are slowly coming around as well. They simply need time to accept their fate. We'll all have to start again from scratch. And that is not something people are wont to concede. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Alright, so we've done our due diligence. We checked the villager, the village. We checked all the tents. We made a quick save. Just in case I made a horrible selection in party. Let's go to the North Cape and see who this mysterious stranger is. So it's you. Magus. Behold, all of it rests at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I lived there once, but I was another person then. Story time. That's ominous music. What's this? The dimensional vortex? We were right then. This power is beyond human control. Oh no, we'll be dragged into the rift. Gala. No, Janice. Stay away. But... Hmm. It's a... A time gate? No. So now we know how they got to where they are. Shala. Janus. Interesting that it happened differently this time, and yet everybody still got dragged to where they were. Some things change and some things don't. All right, so he ended up in Medina. He ended up in the distant future. And what is this place? Hello? There's no one here. Is this the end of time? Ah, and that's how Janus became in charge and turned to Magus. You, you were that boy. I've lived only for the thought of slaying Lavos. Ever since his rift in time's fabric stranded me in the Middle Ages. And just as I'd summon him to my castle, you arrived, Interfere. To think I would be drawn through yet another portal, only to find myself returned to this age. Ironic, is it not? Beings from the future, my knowledge of the past... Oh, being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the Queen that I was an oracle of no small power. And so, again, I worked to draw the beast out. But no history book could have prepared me for what ensued. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Before him, all are his leaves cast about the bitter winds that howl about death's black wings. Stay this course, and your fate will be the same as that fool Kronos. You dare dishonor him? Play with fire and you get burned. A lesson better learned sooner than later. The weak go quickly to their graves. Stay your tongue, Magus. You wish to fight me? Now, here's where one of the really important decisions comes in, because it changes the ending you get and who's available, and a bunch of other stuff in between. If you fight him and kill him, then Frog becomes Glenn. He becomes an actual person again. I mention that because that's not what I'm going to do. Because if you don't fight him, you can actually get him to join your party. 
and he has access to a fun mixed bag of magic. So he has water, fire, lightning, shadow, all the different types of magic in one person so you can balance out whatever it is that you're missing in any given party with him. And he's pretty strong too. So he's a really good character to have handy. So we're going to say, no, we don't wish to fight him. Taking your life will not restore Chrono or Cyrus theirs. Wait. I'll accompany you. Are you mad? I said the fool was dead. I did not say his death could not be undone. Of what do you speak? Gaspar, the guru of time, knows the way to restore those streams of time that have been diverted from their proper courses. So we're going to go ahead and take the default name of Magus. Although I'm more than half tempted to uh, change it to Magnus, since that's what I keep incorrectly calling the dude. Poor guy. Yes. Alright, so who do we want? We'll take... We'll... Yeah. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, not going to happen here, but at some point... We're going to start putting together some combos and get everybody's tech up. Um, I just noticed that he's at level 37. For some reason, I thought he would join in at an appropriate level for you. So I might might take a little time to level him up too. Oh, 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 that opens up an opportunity. Good, good, good. Because remember how I missed um, uh, Specchio at his level 30 to 39 form and I was kind of mad about that? Well... He takes his form based on whatever character is in the lead. So since Magus is not at level thir higher than level 39, if I put him in the lead, then I can do the one thing that I missed. Okay, that's good. I like that. We'll take that. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, let's keep these three unlikely fools together. <laughs> I like how he kind of floats and flies behind you. All right. There we go. And are you the vendor? You are the vendor. Do I want to buy? Do I ever? All right. So I'm pretty sure that's the sword I picked up for Chrono because that's the bow I picked up for her and the gun I picked up for her and the arm I picked up for her and the rune blade. And yes, the headsman's scythe is definitely the one that I want for him. We'll pick up one of those. Uh, oh, he's got armor better than the Aeonian suit. So I need one, two, three, four of those. And I think Chrono already had armor that was better than that. So we'll go four. Man, I hate spending that much money. I mean, I don't have enough in reserve. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And for the helmets, only one person is going to benefit from... Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, I've already got one in stock, so there's no point in buying another one. And I'm okay on potions. I'm okay on mid potions, and I haven't even used any high potions or panaceas. Uh, I haven't even used any of the Athenian waters, so the 10 I have is probably enough. Let me go ahead and get another six shelters just to bring that up to a more comfortable number. I don't really use the ethers that much, and I got 46 of the mid ethers, so that'll be okay. So let's go double check everybody's equipment. All right, so she's got the best attack. The vigilance hat is the one that uh, everybody's had that works better than the Aeonian helm. Uh, the guard helm would help, but uh, and yeah, so she's got the Aeonian suit. So I want to upgrade that to the headsman's scythe. And either the Guard Helm or the Aeonian Helm. And I guess I didn't need to buy the Aeonian Helm, but... Because a Vigilance Hat is what I would actually have needed. Uh, yeah, let's give him the Guard Helm for now. And the Raven Armor I want to... Oh wait, no. That's already better than anything I could put on him. I don't want to do anything. And Shala's... Oh, Shala's 
amulet will prevent all status ailments. Alright, then I'll leave the guardian helm in Shala's amulet, because that, uh, that definitely gives him the best staying power. Alright, so the demon slayer is the best one for now. I mean, the rune blade will up his magic, but uh, let's go with the times two to magical beings. And the Vigilant Hat, yeah, that's what I wanted. It's the Aeonian Suit that I wanted to upgrade him to, right? Yep, okay. Keeping the Rage Band for now. And the Aeonian Suit. Gotta be a speed plus some, something more than two. Um, accuracy, oh, accuracy could be nice too. Although that's speed, man. Um... That would also be nice. Magic defense, strength, stamina. Oh, I gotta remember who uh, who who has the eternal darkness triple tech, because that's gonna affect things too. You see, not everybody earns their triple techs by uh, fighting together. Some of them you actually have to have an item. So the black gemstones required for the three people that need it. Uh, one of them has to have the black gemstone enabled to do that. I'll have to go back and double check that. Uh, you know what? That that might this might be a uh, an equipment for later when I got time to. Uh... Oh, there's my extra speed thing. Okay. Vigilance hat, Aeonian suit, increases charm, and we're back to the beginning again. All right. So now let's sell off some of the equipment we don't need. We're keeping the black plate, the white plate, the red plate, the blue plate. We're selling off all five platinum vests because they are a downer for everybody. We're going to sell off the Doom Helm. He's the only one that can wear it and it's worse than what he's got. And the Aeonian Helm is a downer for everybody. So we're going to sell that even though we just bought it. We don't need the Moonfall Sith. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a downer for what Chrono had, but I'll hang on to it just in case. Uh, the Rune Blade, I'll keep for the moment. The Mega Blaster can go. The Comet Bow can go. The Heavy Hand can go. The Smiter's Blade... Alright, so basically what I have is the upgraded version of that equipped right now. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. Come again. Alright, so let me go ahead and save after I went over yet again. Let me run over to the credits and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. I got one more episode to record. Ooh, yeah, I am running very late. That's okay. We'll make it all work. One more episode. Hang in there. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. And for the second to last time this week, I will mention that if you haven't already, follow along on Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. Definitely Twitch. Maybe also Mixer, because again, in the next week, I'm going to come to a decision on whether or not I'm going to go exclusively with Twitch or if I'm going to continue to do the simulcasting. Uh, I got a lot of things to kind of weigh out and figure out, and right now I'm leaning a little bit more towards just going exclusively Twitch. It, it gives me some options for uh, for a lot of different things that, I'm, that makes life easier. So uh, I will let you know by the time I live stream next week. And no matter what, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out. You get notified when new episodes and other content get posted, uh, like the other game series I do on the CoffeeCraft server, coffeecraft.us, for more information on that. And I will probably post a video with the explanation of why I'm going to make the decision that I make either to go exclusively with um, Twitch or to continue simulcasting. And, and I'll probably be adding some other content once my guitar repair classes are done and I get a little more time to work with throughout the week. And you'll have to subscribe to get notified so you don't miss any of that sort of stuff. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.